Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. We've got a little hover effect for you today. We just recently did this with Elementor and thought it'd be nice to do it with uh, Divi theme too. We've got some images here and when we hover over them, they're going to zoom and contain within a little box right there. And that's a nice little effect. Somebody asked us how to do this with the Elementor. I thought it'd be nice to show you how to do it with Divi too. Really easy to do. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable my Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. I'll start where I left off here. Let's just add a new row. And I'm going to add three columns to it. And I'm going to go down and insert an image module. And for the image, let's choose an image. I guess I'll use one that we used before. There it is right there. And down below you've got the link. You can still use this if you want to, if you want to link the image when they click on it to take your visitors somewhere, put your link in there. Best practice as always, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site, open it in a new tab so your site stays open. And you can also use the light box effect with this as well as the zoom. Okay, so we've got that, we put the light box on, but what we'll actually want it to do is zoom in on this image when we hover over it. So let's go over to our design tab. I'm going to go down to transform. And common to most Divi modules, if you hover up over the dark writing, you'll see some little icons appear. If there's an arrow there, it'll allow you to set a desktop state when your mouse is not on it, and a hover state when your mouse is on it. So desktop state, we want the image to look just like that when we hover over it. I want to zoom in and I'm going to say to perhaps 200%. Obviously you put in whatever works for you. So I'm just going to put in the 200 there. It'll put in the percentage for you. So it's going to zoom in like that when we hover over it. And it's going to look like that when we're not on it. But we don't want it big like that. We don't want it spilling out of the actual container size of the original image. So what we're going to do, still on the design, I'm going to close up transform. I'm going to go down to sizing up to sizing I should say. For height I'm going to start dragging this down until this gets to this size and before it starts shrinking down this way and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'm going to pull this down you see that the image has gone huge because we're pulling it down. I'm going to pull it down all the way until it starts shrinking back the other way because we don't want it to shrink back the other way width wise. So I think it's about 330 and you can increment down just with the little arrows if you want to fine tune. I'm going to call it that. So if we give it a height of 330, it can't get any bigger than 330 if we give the column that it's sitting in that height. Because this won't work just on this because it doesn't know that it's being zoomed in to 200%, so it will still remain the same. So we know the height we want, 330. We've set our zoom factor. How long do we want it to take to zoom in? We go over to our advanced, we can go down to transitions. And here's the duration. Default 300 milliseconds, which is pretty quick. I'm going to take mine up to about half a second or a bit more. Don't want any delay, want it to happen as soon as the mouse touches it. And what I like to use for this speed curve wise is ease in and ease out. They're all slightly different. They'll act differently in certain situations. Some will be better than others, so check them out. But for most hover effect, I like that ease in, ease out. So let's save this and we'll go into the column and tell our column that we don't want to see anything below 330 picks and we don't want to see anything spilling out the side or the top. So go into the green for the row right here. Here's our first column. We'll go in there. We're going to go to the advanced tab. We've got to write one tiny bit of code and I'll put this below the video for anybody that needs it, but it's really easy. In the main element box right here, we're going to give it that height of 330 that we set for the image just now. So I'm going to say height, colon, 330 picks. That way it can't get any bigger than that. And while we're in the advanced tab, I'm going to close up the custom CSS now. I'm going to go down to visibility. I'm going to say Overflow, horizontal and vertical, I'm going to set them both to hidden. What overflow is, for those that don't actually know, is 
When we zoomed in and our image got big like this, the bits that were outside of the column here, that's overflow. So if we turn this to hidden, that's all going to disappear. So we should be good to go. Let's save our changes. We'll save the row changes, save the page changes. And exit the Visual Builder. Go on down. And there's our little image when we hover over. It's going to zoom in. It's going to take half a second or so to zoom in. When we let go, it's going to zoom back out again. When we click on it, it's going to open in a light box. Click off of it, it's going to close up again. So that's a nice little feature, like I say. Now, if you're building this and you want to do this on a tablet and mobile as well, you have to adjust the height settings for tablet. Mobile will probably be about the same as we've got here. But bear in mind, if you're doing it for tablet and mobile, they'll actually have to tap to zoom in on it. And if they're tapping on it to zoom in, it's going to open the light box or go to the link. So you may not need to do this on the mobile versions. You might want to just put a static image there, but that's up to you. So there you go, guys. There's how to create an image zoom effect in a contained box. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.